So, Nintendo Direct, March 8th, 2018, has come and gone. And uh, I thought it was an okay presentation. Uh, let's go over a few things they brought up, and I'll give you my opinions on them. Uh, first, there's a new WarioWare Gold. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I have never played a single one of those games. And so I really didn't care about it one bit. Uh, the second was a new Mario and Luigi, uh, I think it's Superstar Story or something. Um, I have played some of those. I haven't finished them, but they looked pretty interesting. And uh, it included the, you know, Bowser and Bowser Jr. story. So um, I'll probably pick that up uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, also, Detective Pikachu with a new oversized Pikachu Amiibo. I'm probably more interested in the Amiibo than I am the game. Uh, I'm n not sure I'm too into hearing Pikachu talk and uh, kind of sound like uh, possibly Will Arnett or something of that ilk. Uh, it didn't do too much for me. Uh, so next, we have Luigi's Mansion, the awesome game I've played, I think, multiple times on the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, it's going to be really released on the 3DS. Um, so I've played Dark Mood on the 3DS. I've enjoyed it. I played it on, you know, like I said, on the GameCube. Uh, seeing it on the 3DS, uh, nothing too much uh, on my excitement level. I would actually rather prefer to see something new on the Switch or even it updated with new iRes uh, graphics on the Switch. But uh, it being on the 3DS is okay. Uh, the Kirby Star Allies... Kirby is another game I've never played. Uh, never really had an inkling for it. So, it, it is what it is. So, another game that's coming out to the Switch. We'll, we'll start off with, with the Switch games here. Uh, a game that won't seem to ever die. It seems to be ported on every system out there. But yet, for some reason, we have yet to see a sequel after all these years. And it's Okami HD. I don't... I've never played it, but I do have it uh, for both the PS2 as well as the Wii. I was thinking about getting it for the PS4 and finally playing it. Who knows, I might just wait for it to come out on the Switch. But it's very interesting for a game that's constantly being ported, and there's got to be some type of demand out there for it, but how come we don't have a sequel for it yet? I mean, it's if it's that awesome of a game, we should have an Okami 2 by now. Uh, so next uh, on the Nintendo Direct that they showed us was a sushi uh, eater type of game. Whatever. I mean, it looked, looked you know, kind of juvenile and fun. I, not, I'm not going to be playing it anytime soon. Uh, next was an Octopath Traveler. Moving on. And uh, they did show us something with uh, the No More Heroes uh, franchise. I don't know if it's a sequel or if it's just a you know remake of the original game. I never played No More Heroes, um, so you know if that's your kind of thing, you know you could be excited. And after that, they showed us a quick trailer of Dark Souls Remastered, and I couldn't help but say to myself, uh, imagine the person who's you know skipped playing Dark Souls all these years on I think the PS3 the you know, a PS4, and, you know, uh, and it's, now that it's on the Switch, you know, you're convincing how many people to go, ooh, I've waited all these years not playing it, but now that it's on the Switch, I'm really going to be into it. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not buying it. But that, you know, they did put Skyrim on a Nintendo Switch, and people seem to love it, so I guess they'll love, uh, you know, Dark Souls on the Switch as well. Uh, one that actually did uh get my attention a little bit was the mario tennis aces um i thought it was interesting uh, that they had you know these power shots where you can aim exactly you want to hit and even break the opponent's racket and i thought you know that could end some matches pretty quickly but the cool thing is that you can actually block those power swings as well so just because you you know mario and luigi and peach and all those guys have these massive swings doesn't mean that they're automatically going to win. 
So I thought that was a cool new dynamic in the new uh, Mario Tennis uh, franchise. Um, after that, we had uh, the you know, Toad uh, Treasure Tracker, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And, you know, it looks like it's just an upgrade of the 3DS version. Uh, didn't play it. Haven't, I have no intention of playing it. My list is way too long. Um, and, you know, maybe one day if I've, you know, wiped out my entire list of games I need to finish, I might play that. But uh, I'm not anywhere close to it. So, next on the Nintendo Direct they showed was Undertale for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I've never played Undertale. My son has played Undertale, and he's actually trying to push me to play Undertale uh, for the PS4. Maybe one day I will, and maybe I'll just pick it up on the Nintendo Switch. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. So, one of the biggest surprises next for the, uh, on the Nintendo Direct was last year's Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Uh, you know, if you were back in the 90s and, and remember the huge wars between Nintendo and Sega and PlayStation, there was an awesome commercial, and I might be able to provide a link down below if I can find it, where they showed a you know, man in a Crash Bandicoot uh, in, in, at the Nintendo parking lot, and he goes... Hey there, plumber boy. I mean, he, he was basically calling out Nintendo for being, you know, boring. And so, you know, it's very interesting that here we are, you know, 20-something years later, and you finally have Crash on the Nintendo platform. Um, obviously, you know, back then, Crash was a Sony product, but since then, it's been moved off to Activision. So Activision, being a third-party developer, can put it on whatever platform they darn well please. Uh, so it's interesting that they decided to go with the Nintendo Switch. I'm kind of hoping that with the need to put it on the Nintendo Switch, they've kind of tweaked uh, some of the development issues that they had with the release for the uh, PS4 last year, where a lot of people noticed that the game wasn't uh, incredibly harder on some levels. I hope they uh, fix that because they did acknowledge it that they programmed it to be to have the newer controls. Of, I guess Crash Bandicoot Three. I never played any any of them, but you know we'll see. You know we'll see, we'll see a lot of playthroughs of people playing it on the Switch, and maybe it'll be harder, maybe it'll be easier. We'll see. Uh, so after that was uh, Little Nightmares, uh, which is expected to come out in May of two thousand eighteen. Uh, I guess it's an indie game. Um, had had a lot of accolades. Uh, I'm not a horror gaming person. I think the most horrifying game I've ever played uh, to its ending is uh, Limbo. Uh, so, you know, if I ever get my hands on this and it's not and you're freaking me out too much, I might finish it. Uh, but more than likely, I won't play it. Uh, so the next semi-big surprise for the Nintendo Switch was South Park The Fractured Butthole. Now, I, I know it's it's an awesome game. I've seen my son play it. He live-streamed it um, when it first came out. I actually have it. I played the first South Park uh, game, The Stick of Truth. And, you know, it, it wasn't for me um, just because I used to be a bad fan of uh, South Park. But for some reason, I just kind of got over it. Uh, so, you know, playing the game, it, it just didn't, didn't really do anything for me. Uh, playing the game. I might get back into it one day, but at this time I'm not. Um, but, you know, South Park being on the Switch, you know, it is what it is. I, I kind of had a joke to myself that, you know, if Nintendo really wanted to, you know, stretch their limits, you know, put some of their characters in that South Park game, but we all know that's not going to happen. There's no way we're going to have Mario and Peach and Luigi sitting with you know, Cartman and Stan and all those guys cursing everything. But it was just it was just a funny thought in my head. So I decided to share. So uh next was uh the High High Rule Warriors Definitive Edition coming out on the Switch. And I thought it was strange because I thought the original High Rule Warriors came out on the Switch, but it actually came out on the Wii U. So this is would be more of just an updated port to the Switch with all the uh, additional DLC. And I think that's a pretty cool thing now that I realized uh, my initial error. So with that, I think I will purchase that when that comes out. 
And that's also supposed to come out uh, this upcoming May. So that's more money coming out of my pocket. And, uh, you know, second to last that they showed was an update to Splatoon 2. I guess there's a version 3.0, which was a surprise to me because I didn't even realize it was a version 2.0. Uh, I did not play Splatoon 1, I did not play Splatoon 2, uh, I have no intention of playing either one of those, it's another one of those that if I ever get around to it and I just have nothing else to play, I might throw that one in, but at this point in time, uh, those games uh, do nothing for me. So here we are at the end of Nintendo Direct, we've, we've watched all these videos, you know, blah blah blah, there's nothing, you know, really floating anybody's boats. And so, you know, the folks say, okay, bye, but one more thing. And, of course, they show us a trailer, and they show the guys from Splatoon 2 showing, you know, shooting each other around, and it's it's pretty cool and all. Then one of them turns around and looks up at the sky, and you see the reflection in his or her eye, the symbol of Smash uh, Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, actually. And, of course, I know every Nintendo fanboy out there just lost their shit. And it was a really, really cool trailer. And, you know, you see the shadows coming out, you see Mario, and you see Link, and you see a few of the characters that have been in the previous games. And uh, and they announced that it was coming out in 2018, so I can only imagine that we'll probably see more of it in the upcoming uh, Nintendo Directs, as well as possibly E3 coming out in a couple of months, and I presume the game will probably come out for this holiday season. So, with that, I think it would be a good thing to talk about, you know, are you excited about any of these games? Um, and not, yeah, Well, let me, let me start over. So, that was the end of the Nintendo Direct, and, you know, showed all these things, uh, all these games, and they made their big announcement, and I think they have a lot more coming down uh, over the next couple of months. And so my question is, are you excited? Uh, Myself, it was okay. There's a few things that I'm interested for. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, uh, I've I've never been a huge fanboy of it, simply because I don't really play a lot of multiplayer games. Uh, When my kids were home, we did play Super Smash Brothers on the GameCube and on the Wii U. Uh, actually, not too much on the Wii U. We actually played it on the Wii. We played it on the GameCube, and we played it on the Wii. And we played it a lot, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, i just rather play something else, uh, more single-player. That's how I've grown up. That's how it was. But what are you excited about? Are you excited about Super Smash Brothers? I watched a lot of live streams afterwards, and there was a lot of people just going crazy over it. Uh, one guy declared that Nintendo has already won the console war for 2018. Um, I thought that was a little premature, uh, and, you know, I saw, <clears throat> I saw another guy, I think it was, a uh, Attica World Network, he was, you know, throwing a, a hissy fit about in Super Smash Brothers, you know, that, you know, more power to him, you know, to each your own, but what are you excited about? Uh, put it in the comments below, uh, if you, if you liked what you heard on this video, Hit that like button. If you'd like to hear more about my thoughts about what things you're coming up with in the world of video games and anything else, uh, hit that subscribe button and that notification button. It does help me a lot on this channel, and it helps this uh, channel grow. Anyway, I'm done for uh, this particular subject, and you'll probably hear more from me pretty soon. Talk to you later. Peace.